from the IS-3, uh, judging by the way it was looking. This IS-3, now the boss of midfield. Currently unopposed, currently having Tourette's syndrome, uh, turret syndrome rather. Can't decide where to aim, I'm not sure why the AI kind of does that, it just seems to be uh, very indecisive on which target it wants to take out. There's a Lux on the right hand side, Pitbull bringing up a second Jeep with a DS-39 machine gun. Uh, gonna bring some additional firepower to this fight, but the Frag 38 is already pinging away at it. The crew's still alive, the gun's still operational, although the guy dies inside, he's replaced by the driver instead of the passenger. One hell of a lazy passenger. He could use a good slap in. Uh, more infantry dying, only one more guy left on this jeep to control the gun. And now he's gone, the jeep is still alive, still repairable. But I don't think you want to sit uh, repairing that as a Flak 38 fires on you. Valony sending some more troops to support that left hand side and an elephant from Scorpion. This is one hell of a tank destroyer. Eva and her IS-3 progressing to the next level of this battle. The greetings are now occurring as the IS-3 and elephant trade their first shots. Eva wanting to back away her IS-3 doesn't want to get too close to that. Unlike the Elephant, who just wants to approach it and try and get that additional armor penetration for being closer to the target, as soon as they fire, they both back away. They're both extremely retarded. Retarded meaning slow, not... not, not retarded. Artillery now landing on the Elephant tank. I think the Elephant realizes this, but it's not too bothered. Gonna approach again for another shot, and a 2-2-2 swings round. Uh, kind of glitching out on the side of that ramp up there. Uh, we also have a machine gun up right next to the church covering the central position, but the Russians control this at the moment, so uh, it's... They need to get infantry in there. You can see where the 222 is. There's a, just a line of corpses uh, who have tried to crawl into the zone and take it. Unfortunately, though, they have died. The IS-3 still backing away, still moving forward. One of the two going to get the shot and then pull away once again, keeping the front armor uh, towards the enemy and actually goes for the 222. An easier target that was definitely going to die in one shot so long as it hit, and it did. Uh, I suppose taking what you can rather than what you maybe can is a pretty good idea. I'd ro <laughs> for me though, I'd just want to get every shot in to that elephant. I want that thing dead if I was either. This is what sets rookies apart from pros though, I'm definitely no pro. The Germans have now neutralized the central location and are capping it with their infantry. The points currently being 69 to the Soviet Union and 45 to the Germans. The Germans just need to hold on to this point, although it's <laughs> temporarily didn't have any infantry in there and lost uh, about 20% on that capture point. Uh, Puma on this right hand side from soldiers gunning down a few infantry this IS-3 is going to cover that coming back to the center though the point went back down to 0% more infantry trying to pour in and capture that zone as soon as the Germans capture this point they can begin ticking up their points overall which you can see in the top right hand side of the screen again you most likely need to be watching in HD to see that in the background we have that heavy D1 howitzer firing on the elephant tank and uh, the, <laughs> the middle point's been neutralized once again. Being covered by the machine gun for the Germans and the IS-3 for the Soviet Union. There's just hardly any infantry getting in there alive. And that's a problem for both players if they can't capture that point. This game's going nowhere. It could honestly go down right to the 90 minute time limit. And I don't think I have the lung capacity to go that far. Ladies and gentlemen. This IS-3 elephant battle continues to go on. Such struggling in the central location right now. Uh, the Soviet forces do appear to be capturing that zone, but another wave of German forces come in. We have a Black Widow and a 222. Appears to be joyriding. Uh, did a little bit of damage to Pitbull, who has lost quite a lot of defenses around here. Still a lot just to the right, but on the all the way to the left. 
Uh, a lot of infantry have just disappeared. He recruised that jeep though. Uh, still being fired at on the flag 38. More artillery off in the center. Surprisingly enough, Elephant is still alive. IS-3 looks to be still alive. Infantry, definitely not alive. <laughs> but look at this, Eva having to resupply the IS-3 with a truck. <laughs> Although that uh, supply truck can also resupply that heavy D1 howitzer uh, firing away. I think for the long run in this battle that heavy howitzer is probably going to rack up a lot of kills. And uh, there's no way the enemy can get to it unless they use their own artillery to take care of it. And from what I know, I've only seen Neverworthers fire into the central position. Uh, again, I can't tell because of Fog of War. Damn you developers, you observers. Oh, Anuki, you're so subtle. Uh, flag being captured by the Germans now this time. Whew. <laughs> Not being captured by the Germans, now being captured by the Russians. Uh, Nor to be mentioning something about grenade. I don't believe I did see it though, uh, unless I just had my eyes focused somewhere else. Uh, which is this flag point, which is constantly changing hands. Felony pouring infantry into the middle, keeping hold of it. Just for a few seconds, trying to get as many points as possible as the Elephant and IS-3 continue to slug it out down this road. I imagine most players have reached the command point limit. Dr. Pitbull with a T-26 taking care of a, a Jeep, possibly stolen from uh, earlier when he used that. But that T-26 clears this area, now he can advance with infantry. It looks fairly clear. No flak AA firing on that, otherwise it would have been dead. We have a Panzer IV supporting the Elephant tank. Now what he needs to be careful. Uh, the IS-3 is firing on it. Eva doing exactly what she did last time and opting to take out the lighter armoured target because it's a guaranteed kill almost. Um, Scorpion's Elephant tank remaining where it is, trying to pick off this IS-3. Not getting the penetration it needs. IS-3 returning fire. Soldiers has this Puma. Uh, might be the second Puma, might be the third Puma. It looks like it's the third Puma as there's one wrecked on the right hand side of the screen. Uh, so he's really liking his Pumas. He is being very defensive on the right hand side as well. Uh, I'm not sure where that Puma's gonna pop out of. I'm hoping it tries to come for this IS-3. Uh, I would like to see if it can be successful. Um, which it, it did look like it's going to do it, and it comes into view now, right behind the Panzer III. A little bit of lag, I think that lag may have made it crash into the wall. That Panzer III, it just passed, is still not repaired. Um, I would have thought one of the players would have taken it, taken it by now. A lot of infantry try moving to secure this area and gun down. Elephant still firing away. Uh, Puma trying to get a good side shot off. It gets caught in all the buildings though, can't quite destroy them. IS-3 easily deals with that. It's unfortunate that the Puma got stuck in all that wreckage. Uh, IS-3 kind of revealing a little bit of a side armor now. Track damage, not going to be turning to face the Elephant. Elephant has a great shot now. It could be all over for this IS-3. Heavy Howitzer also fires onto the Elephant that Scorpion has. He continues to Bombard it. He's not retreating at all. The Russians lacking infantry in this area. More buildings just collapsing. Elephant tank retreating away. It has destroyed the IS-3. IS-3 is now down. The crew gets out on fire. Screaming away. Oh no. The IS-3 was the only thing stopping the elephant tank. But at least the elephant tank is now somewhat... Not useful, it can reposition itself to the right hand side where the second IS-3 tank is. Uh, not much tanks on the left hand side. Which means no need to bring the elephant tank there. Remember the elephant tank is a tank destroyer. Uh, which usually means they're not really well equipped to deal with infantry. So that elephant tank, uh, like I said before, you know, its only purpose on this battlefield was to destroy that IS-3. There is still another IS-3 it can go and destroy. Regardless, Beer Soldiers enters this area of the map with a Panzer II Lux, uh, providing you know that extra elimination of infantry, and the German soldiers now move in. 
easily taking that area on a 203 millimeter artillery cannon from Dr. Pitbull. Saved up all of his special points. I'll bring up the details here. I hope to see this fire shortly, although it doesn't seem to have a target on the map right now. Uh, maybe the central flag point just to eliminate all the infantry and prevent the capture of that zone. Come on, thing, fire! <laughs> German forces actually moving up. Nootany taking cover behind these sandbags and barricades. Uh, there was an MG here. It looks like it got destroyed. Panzer II Lux is moving away. And I've got a phone ringing in the background. I don't know if you can hear that. I do hope not. Uh, I don't know who's calling at this hour in the morning. They can go screw themselves there. Uh, that 203mm cannon still not fired. I hope I haven't missed him. That guy gets grenade and defies the laws of physics. And uh, just like catapults in the wrong direction. And that German soldier just goes ahead and dies in the road. There is one guy in the house from the Soviet forces uh, shooting people in the back as they cross the road. And this thing still hasn't fired. I really hope I haven't missed it. Uh, no matter though, we continue on with the battlefield and we're seeing smokes come up, uh, I think, from Black Widow. Uh, we're going to have to see who comes running through the smokes because whoever does usually means it's their smokes. Uh, T20 armored tractor vehicle, it's got six seats. I always like to think of them as couches. And uh, this Panzer III finally repaired. You saw that Panzer III get destroyed, uh, or at least very damaged, very early on in the game. It's finally been brought back to life. Uh, very good idea to make use of the armaments on your battlefield. And uh, if you can acquire them, then hell yeah. Even just repair it and then park it in the back uh, near your spawn. Just in case you need it later, you, you know, you don't have to use it. You can just take the infantry out. Uh, IS-3 still alive, still kicking on that side of the battlefield, although it's just being defensive. A fourth Puma, possibly, from soldiers. This is an extreme fetish he has right now. He's coming up on the side of this IS-3, covered by the terrain. Uh, although a little bit risky, it doesn't seem like he wants to advance too much. It honestly seems like the terrain is protecting him, but I am wrong. He takes out the track of the IS-3. He can get the shot off from there. There's a supply truck from Shikada. Uh, moves up to not sure what this is going to do. Maybe just shot block. Although, I'm pretty certain that Puma would just end up firing straight through that supply. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. It just blows up in a big fiery explosion. Uh, I really think I've missed this 203. I don't think Pitbull's forgotten about it. Either that or he's waiting uh, for one of the heavy tanks just to appear on the map and then fire on that as it's stationary. Uh, you know, get the element of surprise with that 203mm artillery piece. A tractor is advancing on a Panzer IV. I'm not sure what that's going to do. And a Panzer IV and a Panzer III combine assault on this IS-3. Trying to get some good side shots. The track is damaged, so it's not going to be able to rotate. One Panzer IV goes down. A second shot from this Panzer III hits the side of the armor. Damages the track once again. And injures the crew, stunning it temporarily. That tourist uh, was stunned, wasn't able to turn straight away. Slowly turning around to try and get a shot on the Panzer III. The crew is dying constantly. I'm not sure how many people are left in the IS-3. If there is anyone, there seems to be one guy left right now. The turret's going completely the wrong way, though. Uh, although the Panzer III is disabled, it's safe for now. Be aware, the crew can get out of that and throw a TNT. An AT grenade goes on it instead, not in TNT. Uh, maybe the TNT was used earlier from the Panzer III. Someone just got out of there and threw it earlier. This guy's going to get back in the tank. Unfortunately, he doesn't quite make it and gets grenaded. Uh, the last guy from Shikada in the tank crew gets out. Flaming this Panzer III and Panzer IV though still repairable. Maybe the Soviet forces will use them for their own benefits It seems we're a little bit light on infantry uh, On the right and central position right now currently the Germans control That central flag point with a light gun from Eva firing away on the Panzer IV No, what he doesn't seem to have noticed though. He's gonna continue Moving his Panzer IV to this left-hand side. A T-34 joins this battlefield. Medium armor from Felony. Takes care of a Stug from Black Widow US. A Stug which I did not see. We've got infantry moving around on the left-hand side. 
they will want to stay well out of the way of the T-34. 